Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to look at an unusual vintage trap called the Magnetic Mousetrap that was invented by James Stebbins in February of 1956. This one's still in the original package. Back then it sold for 49 cents. So let's take it out and see how it works. This trap is made of all metal components and what makes it so unusual is the trigger system. Right here is a really powerful magnet that holds the kill bar down. The original instructions are right here, so let's read them and see how to use it. It says you first place the bait on the pedal, then you lift up this lever. It's held down with that powerful magnet right there, but you lift it up. And then there's a really convenient uh, little wire loop right here that lets you pull back that kill bar. And you flip it back around and it catches right there on that magnet. And it's held into place. So this is now set. It was really easy and that magnet's what's holding everything down. So when the mouse comes along to get that bait, it lifts up that kill pad and wow, that has some force and it works great. Very light trigger system and a cool design with a magnet. Let's go set this up in the barn with motion cameras and see if we can get some mice with this magnetic mousetrap, a really cool design. I went to go check our vintage magnetic mousetrap this morning and look we caught a mouse in it and it's caught in a really unusual way. Typically with this style mousetrap that kill bar comes down right behind the neck but with this mouse it came down in the middle of the body. I was curious what happened so I went to go check the motion camera footage and I was amazed at what I saw. This mouse was sitting backwards on this trap gently licking the peanut butter off the bait pedal and not triggering it. Apparently this magnet is a little too strong and not very sensitive for the trap. But what happened was this was a mother mouse and one of her babies came along and grabbed the bait on the pedal and triggered it. That baby jumped back and was fine, but when it did that it accidentally murdered its mom. So this mouse was not the one that tripped the trap, but it was the one that was killed in the trap. And that spring was so powerful when it came around it did a backflip. I didn't know it was that powerful, but it was pretty impressive. To release this mouse is pretty simple. I like this convenient little tab. You can lift it up, give it a little shake and that mouse comes out. This vintage magnetic mousetrap is a really cool part of mousetrap history. A neat design, even though it's not as sensitive as I thought it would be.